Do you wish you could buy a cheap wireless microphone to do mic'd up videos and such? Well, you're in luck today because since I mentioned that I'm a huge fan of the DJI mic for my mic'd up videos, I've been bombarded with budget wireless microphones. Because not everyone can afford the DJI mic and there are a bunch of budget wireless microphone manufacturers eager to capitalize on that. Basically, a bunch of companies reached out to me and I politely declined making a video about their products because they were either, in my opinion, not good enough or not practical enough for sports videography. But there are three very budget-friendly wireless microphones that I did decide to include in the video I'm making today for three very different reasons. Before we get into it, I just want to mention that I did get all these microphones for free. I did not get paid by anyone, unfortunately. And uh, I will also include a link in the description below to my kit.co page where you can find all my recommendations for mic'd up video equipment, which will now also include the three wireless microphones that we're talking about here today. The first budget wireless mic I want to talk about is the Small Rig Forevala W60. The main reason to buy it is because of how convenient it is. The display, the external dials and the buttons make it super easy to monitor and adjust the settings on both transmitters independently on the fly. The build quality in general is also really good. Everything seems very durable and reliable. Honestly, from all the wireless mics I'll be showing you today, this is probably the one that feels the most similar to the DJI mic. Except for the fact that it is significantly bigger, so if you plan to attach it to your top, for example, it does stand out a lot more than the DJI mic's transmitter. But, like the DJI, it comes with magnets that you can use to hide the transmitter inside your top. And it also comes with windscreens, cable that allow you to connect a receiver to a camera or a phone, a nice carry bag, a USB-C charging cable, and a pretty slick charging case. The main difference between this and the DJI mic is that you can't do any internal recordings with uh, small rig microphones. So you can only record audio in your camera with no internal backups in case of a bad wireless connection, for example. Well, speaking of the wireless connection, the range on this thing is supposed to be 100 meters, so about 330 feet, which is basically the length of a football field. So what I'm going to do is go at the other end of the field over there and see if the connection keeps working um, with and without players getting in the way, because that's a, a big part of it too. Uh, can the range uh, keep, uh, can the connection stay even when there's obstacles in the way? And by the way, I forgot to bring the little uh, fluffy uh, windscreen with me, so Bear with me, please, because it's a very windy day. So uh, don't really uh, worry too much about the quality of the audio, but just if there's any audio at all. All right, so I just made it to the other end of the football field. I hope you guys can see me and hear me. There's a bunch of players now walking in shot. So it'll be interesting to see if the audio cuts out and they do. Uh, well, hopefully there is audio to begin with, but um, yeah, this is me, a football field away from the camera with people in the way. And uh, if you can still hear me, then that means that the small rig is a great success as far as range is concerned. The next wireless mic option is the cheapest one by far. It's the Kimafun KM G50. The main reason to buy this is obviously the price, because you only pay for what you need. There's a model for cameras, a model for phones, and even a model for computers if you want to do commentary on a live stream, for example. So if you don't need a kit that can do all three, you can buy one of those for only 80 something dollars and a little bit more if you need two transmitters. Each model does exactly what you need it to do, which is allow you to record your voice wirelessly. So again, no internal backups. And also each kit includes a bunch of accessories like a couple of windshields, a charging cable, a non-charging case, and with the camera model, you also get a bunch of extra cables as well as a lavalier mic, which is pretty good value for the price. 
It is kind of plasticky in comparison to the small rig kit we were looking at before, but it doesn't feel like it's necessarily going to break easily or anything like that. It, it actually feels good. So as long as you keep using the case when you're traveling, you should be fine. All right, so this time I've got the Kimofon microphone and there is a windshield, so hopefully it sounds a bit better. But um, yeah, this one can only go up to 50 meters, so 160 feet, basically half a football field. So this is it's half time right now, so I'm gonna try to go on the field on the 50 yard line. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed, so see what happens, but uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm now pretty much 50 yards away from the camera, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Very awkward, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, now I'm, I'm 30 yards away, so if you couldn't hear me before, hopefully you can hear me now. I'm about, well, I'd say it's a bit more because I'm further back than the, the back of the end zone, but yeah. Now, I'm at the goal line, just scored a touchdown, and here I am. So hopefully you guys heard all of that. I just listened to the audio, and um, again, I think my levels are a bit hot, but other than that, the range worked great. I probably should have tried to go a bit further back. Maybe I'll do that now, actually. I'll go to the, to the other end. Uh, just to see if you can actually hear me from way back there. But so far from the 50 yard line, it was good. All right, so I made it at the other end of the field. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I doubt it, but uh, you never know. And now, yeah, a couple of players just ran in front of the camera. I don't know if the signal got cut or not. Um, if it hasn't, uh, I'm very impressed, but again, I doubt that this is working. So I'm probably just talking to myself at the moment. Actually, an easy test to see how obstacles getting in the way are affecting this camera. Let's see what happens when I turn my back. And if you guys can still hear me fine, this is actually an amazing success, but I doubt it. And lastly, this is the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X, which basically took the best features from the two wireless mics we just talked about and put them all in a key in hand professional solution. It's a little bit more pricey than the other ones at $299 US for a two transmitter kit and $199 for only one transmitter. But with this, you get everything. Transmitters, a receiver of course, cables, carry bag, windscreens, charging case, and you also get lavalier microphones included. Which again comes in handy because I assume most people watching this video are interested in making their own mic top videos and to do those properly, you will need a lav mic. So I'm not gonna explain the whole setup here because I already made a tutorial about this, which I'll link in the description below. But basically my point is that if you're gonna buy a lavalier mic anyway, um, having it included in this kit at $299 or $199 if you only need one transmitter is is still a pretty good deal. Especially that this is Saramonic's second generation of wireless microphone systems, so they are a step ahead of small rig in my opinion. For example, the screen on both the transmitter and the receiver is much bigger and displays much more information. Saramonic's kit also has less latency, there's a higher signal to noise ratio, a longer battery life, but hey, it all comes down to the sound, so let me know in the comments actually if you prefer the sound of my voice right now or the way it sounded earlier when I was using the small rig microphone. Alright, so I am back at the very end of the football field for the very last time. This time I'm wearing the Saramonic Blink Pro, uh, Blink 500 Pro X. A bunch of players in between me and the camera. So again, a good test uh, to see if obstacles are an issue. 
Otherwise, um, if you guys can hear me, which I hope you do, considering that the Kimofon could do it, I think if the Kimofon can do it, so can so should this microphone. So um, yeah, um, again, I forgot the windshield for this one, so don't worry too much about the quality. We're just testing the range. All right, so it's it's wind city at the moment, so I'm gonna keep it short. But uh, basically, the Saramonic, uh, just like the other two, really impressed me as far as the range signal is concerned. So another win. Um, just to wrap up the the range subject, I think um, again the three mics did either exactly what they said they could do or beyond in the case of the Kimafun. But even though the Kimafun went a bit further than advertised, um, I think it would struggle with people getting in the way. You saw it, I think, when I turned my back to the camera. So I wouldn't quite trust it um, if it's an important sort of video that you're shooting, miking up someone uh, during a game. But for anything else, though. All right, so... After testing the mics in studio at the football game and also listening to it all while editing this video, my take on each microphone is this. First of all, with the small rig Forevala W60, I really like the dials on the receiver that allow you to adjust the volume of each microphone individually. As I said at the start, I think it's a very clever and convenient design. I also like the price, because uh, $199 for a two transmitter kit and a charging case is a very good deal. But as you saw at the football game, the signal can be a bit unreliable when there are obstacles in the way, which is not great for mic'd up videos. And also the audio quality is okay, but not nearly as good as the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X, in my opinion. So bottom line, with the small rig for Avala W60, I think you ultimately get what you pay for. With the Kimafun KMG50, however, you get much more than what you pay for, definitely a sleeper in this draft. For half the price of the small rig kit, you get a similar range, a similar signal strength, and a similar audio quality. But the battery life's not as long, there's no charging case, and the functionality of the buttons is not as convenient. But still, I do think that you get a ton of value for a ridiculous price, especially considering the lavalier mic that's also included in this kit. So bottom line, I definitely recommend the Kimafun KMG50 if you are on a very tight budget and of course you understand and accept its limitations. But if you have a bit more money to spend and you don't want those limitations, the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X is definitely where it's at. It can basically do everything the DJI mic can do except for the internal recordings. The audio quality in my opinion is much better than the small rig and the Kimafun. And as you saw at the football game, the signal range and strength are not an issue at all. So if you want a wireless microphone kit, super reliable with great audio quality at a very fair price, again, because of the included lavalier mics, the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X is my personal recommendation all day, every day. But if your intention is to create mic'd up videos, before buying any microphone, I strongly suggest watching the video appearing on your screen right now because it is a step-by-step -step tutorial about the perfect mic'd up video setup, which is something you should be aware of before buying anything. So hopefully, I'll see you guys there.